So y'all definitely want to listen up and tune into this podcast if you feel as though you and your spouse are maybe not in alignment. Maybe y'all are feeling maybe some competition, or maybe y'all just feel like the companionship is not there. So if you are in a place in your marriage or in your relationship right now, or maybe you and your partner, y'all just aren't in alignment, maybe y'all just don't feel like y'all are companioning this thing out, <laughs> y'all are not collaborating, you definitely want to tune in. So let's jump into it. <laughs> Got on your keys. You got on your keys. Everything you want on top, of everything you need, just got on your keys. Nobody could take this. Built it from ground up, and nobody could break this. I'm making real moves. When I see it, I want it, I get it. Let's build an empire, baby. I know that you with it. Can't nobody stop this. They can only watch this. It's time to talk life balance, love and marriage, all the trending topics. No off days, come up the hallway. Never no shortcuts. So, you know, we've been, I've been seeing a lot of couples on the internet, a lot of, well, a lot of talk about couples on the internet um, in competition with each other, you know. And then people that's not even couples, it's men versus women, women versus men, you know. And so it's like, I always think about, you know, especially in a relationship, if you, if you compete against each other, somebody got to lose, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, why, if, if we if we together, why would I want you to lose in any capacity of, of, of life? Right, right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, I mean, I guess I did hear, um, I did hear Steve Harvey, I think, say something about that when I was on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Um, but I guess I probably didn't really put too much um, thought into um, husbands and wives. You know, I probably was more or less thinking about um, just how, you know, women now we have to, um, we have the mindset of like, you know, I can take care of myself, you know, and I get it, you know, as a woman, you know, um, Jay understands how I feel about making sure that I always have something that I can fall back on for myself and really and truly it's a trauma response from, you know, my previous um, you know, relationship, but also, um, I can see how women feel as though they can't depend on, um, men just because it's like, you know, you know, when men are making decisions, it's so unstable. So it's like women won't, women don't typically feel, um, Unsecure in a situation or with someone that makes them feel secure. So if you make me feel secure, if you show me that I can depend on you, if you show me that you're going to be there to take care of my needs just as well as I'm going to take care of your needs, right? If you make me feel valued and appreciated, then of course I will feel more secure, right? I won't feel as though, you know, that it's me versus you or that I can depend on you. So it's like when, when you think about, um, when I think about that and when, you know, a person thinks about that it's like if you make a person feel like they can depend on you right then it's like why would they feel like they couldn't uh, no, I, you I, know I definitely feel that you know yeah. and I think I think I think in society we, we fall especially like you know just say like America right mm-hmm. you know you know the land of the free everybody is free to do what they want to do you know? right you know but I, I look back and I think we have got so far removed of in the, as a generation of actually learning how to be her husband, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Be a wife, you know, yeah. be a father. Like that like people people take for granted and think like you just like those things just happen. Like yeah. you just up and you get married and you just know how to be a husband. Yeah. If I you, get that. If, if you never was trained by somebody that you watch on how to actually be a husband, you know? Yeah. The same That's goes good. for like being a father, being, you know, um, uh, you know, just those things is you don't just you're not just born with that type of like yeah, and your environment, and yeah. training, you your environment saying? definitely um, plays a critical role in who you become. You know, it plays a critical role in um, in your relationships, right. in your relationship with money, um, in how you view yourself. You know, in your relationship, even with people that you know you're surrounded around. You know, um, that's one of the things that you know we learned um, in you know in psychology. Um, and you know, in that field is just really how your environment plays such a critical role in who you become, you know. Um, now, the thing about it is, is that, you know, um, I definitely agree with you when you say, you know, that 
the environment that you come from, um, like if you if if you are in an environment to where you see your mom, you know, uh, taking care of your dad or your dad taking care of your mm -hmm. mom. But I can say, you know, just from my own personal um, family, you know, situation, um, I had a great dad. Right. You know, um, and so my first situation that I went into my first marriage, you know, was not a replica. A replica of what I actually saw in the right. environment that I was in. I was not, my sisters and I were not raised in a combative environment. You know, um, we were raised in a two parent household where, you know, our parents, especially like my dad, like my, my, my dad was a man in terms of like making sure he took care of his family. Like we never went without, you know, um, even the way that he treated my mom, he treated my mom like a queen and still does, you know, that to this day, you know, has the utmost respect for my mom. And so with that being said, you know, then, you know, I get into a situation and it's like, I get with someone that treats me like trash. Well, at first he didn't treat me like trash, but then, you know, eventually it happened. Anyway, saying all that to say, you know, now I'm in a situation, now I don't want to call this a situation, but now I'm in, you know, a relationship yeah. with someone that, you know, adores me, that values every every aspect of my being, you know. Um, so I do feel like even in that, it did play a critical role in the person that I'm with now, but I do feel like it also goes to, like, you have to understand and really spend time with, like, who you are mm -hmm. um, and really think about, like, what you want you know, and how the things that you were once, you know, connected to that are environmental, external, right? How how they either are gonna benefit your life or how they're gonna deter your life into a way that you don't want them to go. So if you don't if you never sit with yourself and you don't think about those things, then you're never gonna be able to say, Oh, this is what I want or this is what I don't want. You know? Yeah, I think I think, you know, fortunately like for you, you know, you was able to identify, like going back to what you said earlier, like, you know, a lot of women feel like, you know, I could take care of myself, you know. Yeah. But that 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 you know that mindset is really coined around one demographic. You know, like you got one, you got women that that are that are very successful. That you know they they earn a lot of money. They they got they got great businesses. Yeah. But taking care of yourself is really money is only one facet of that. So a whole yeah. li holistically, a woman can't take care of herself. Holistically, a woman because the the but again. What's well, when you say that a woman can't take care of herself, I want you to elaborate. I, on oh, that. I'm definitely, okay. I'm definitely okay. about to elaborate on okay. it. So, so ideally, a woman has to be protected, has to be loved, has to be supported, mm -hmm. has to be provided for. We don't mm -hmm. have, but you know, in 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 that in that context, right? Right. So, yeah, a woman may be able to take care of herself monetarily. Mm -hmm. She may be able to take care of herself, you know, as far as you know, her 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 care, her health. Mm -hmm. You know, she may be able to uh, have, you know, be able to develop her spirituality, but then mm -hmm. when it comes to that, that you know, that that uh, that connection, mm -hmm. you know, that human connection of, of a man, she can't do that on her own. So you feel like we have. So you feel like that the human connection is what? Because I'm just going off of like what I feel like I hear you saying. Mm -hmm. What I what I feel like I hear you saying is that. It's not just a woman. It's just really a man too. You're just yeah. saying, okay, right. that everyone every, needs every that human human. connection yeah. really in order to blossom into who they really truly are. Yeah. Or in terms, I, I guess I can understand that. Yeah. I guess I can feel that. And, yeah. and the reason why I'm saying it is because I mean that's how God intended it to be. Right. Yeah. God intended. God intended us to have human connection. Right. You know. Right. Um, and I definitely do not feel like God intended us to be in competition with each other. I feel yeah. like God, what God intended was us to be to collaborate That's each why other. To co campaign. Yes, campaign it's a campaign. And competition is two right, totally two totally different, different things. So I, I definitely see that. But I do feel like society has played oh, a huge sure. role in women feeling like yeah. they can't depend definitely. on a man. Definitely. Because as soon as the next big booty come around, right? If, if if there's something that you don't value, if you don't feel like you're missing anything as a man, mm -hmm. you're not gonna go out there and you're not gonna sleep around or you're not gonna mess with another one. But if you feel like there's something that you're missing, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever people say about the 80-20 thing, I truly feel like when you feel as though you have something that's missing, whether that's something that you internally are dealing with, mm -hmm. or whether that's what you actually see, what social media makes you believe and think that you're missing something, you're definitely capable to step out. But you know, a, that's what I, that's how, now I'm not saying you, but I'm no, saying no, 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 like, no, you know, in no. general, yeah. Well, and I think I said this a, a couple of weeks ago, you know, 
a, a big part of a successful relationship that's in a relationship is discipline. Yeah. It, it's like you're going. So to, discipline would be being able to refrain from temptation. Right. Okay. It's discipline because as a as a human being, there are always going to be things of the world that may look more appealing to what the th- the thing that you have, whether it's a whether it's whether it's your spouse, whether it's a car, whether yeah. it's clothes, whether it's jewelry. There's always you gonna always have something, and then something else will always look better. Yeah. In some form or fashion. Right. You know what I'm saying? So your discipline is 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 the thing that's supposed to kick in and say, nah, dog, that ain't really what that is. Yeah, like you the prize like, is not like really like nah, like inside. like like really like like self reflect for two seconds and really know what you really have. So have you ever had to deal with that before? As far as like the temptation. Yeah. Oh yeah. Really. For sure. Yeah, so like, okay, so how do you, so how have you dealt with that? Um, for me, it's always like, I'm all, I always ground myself in, I, I can't see something better than what I have. And that's where, that's within my, with my marriage, that's within, you know, my, my life, my lifestyle, and everything that I have, I want to continue to build with what I have. Like, I want to continue to build with what I was already within my, within my, my circle, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like, I want to. I, I don't. I don't want to mess with another woman that may jeopardize me being able to continue to build a life with you. Mm-hmm. Everything. I, everything. Everything that I continue to acquire in life, I want to make sure I, I have it with my wife. That's a. That's that's just a. That's a. Um, that's a goal for me. You know, a, a goal is for me that is for me to live for, live a long time with a successful marriage. Whoever that's with. No. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not well. but, but again I came from an environment where marriage wasn't looked at like that yeah you know what I'm saying like like you know a part of my family marriage is not respected but that go back to those women that that didn't have relationships with men that actually showed them that they were valuable to be a companion and to build a life you feel what I'm saying so for me coming from that kind of situation I was like well look if I ever get married that's the kind of marriage I want you know what I'm saying? This is how I want to treat my wife. This is what I want my wife to see. This is how I want to be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that was that's 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 how I operated. Yeah, you definitely exemplify you know? that. Like I can honestly say, just just being married, being uh, married, because you know I got married. We got married young too. So yeah. being married young twice, you know, I definitely can see the difference of like what it feels like to have a man really value you. You know. Yeah. Um, and I know, and that's the thing, it's like, I know you deal with with temptation, you know. Um, I guess I probably, I guess for women, we probably like, we probably don't like to think about that. Don't like, you like to think that somebody wants your man? I guess probably, because it's like, I Because look, I'm nervous time you step out of the house, I'm like, I'm, yeah, I know. I'm not going to be naive and be like, yeah. like, like really? You yeah. Know? But like, it's like, know? but I guess for me, like, I, you know, I guess for me, I'm going to be honest, it's like, I, I could never like see me going up to a man or trying to give a man, a, you know, uh, like trying to make him. Trying give to entice me. him. To yeah, give him uh, like I just yeah. I don't think about that. So I'm like, so I'm like for me, I'm like. But you might not, you might not, you know, you might not do it that. And like, I'm not gonna say like women just come up and be like, you yeah. know, but you know they do it in other ways. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Like, tell me how they do it. I mean, <laughs> like, you know, you like, you can always, you can feel. When 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 uh, a woman's eyes follows you. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Even even if you don't. But make, you used to think like that that you didn't know that that um exists. You did. I mean, I probably did. Yeah. You, you did. know. <laughs> but I mean, you know, as you as you grow and you grow wiser, then you uh-huh. you, you realize how to deal with things. Yeah. As you as you get older, then you get wiser. Instead of like instead you of like acting saying? like. It doesn't, because I think that's a lot of times what happens in, in relationships mm-hmm. is that the woman will feel like, like the woman will be saying like, I know you know this woman trying to talk to you, but then you, because you don't want to deal with the reality right. of if you are honest and tell the woman that you're with, yeah, I do know that, mm-hmm. then you're going to have to deal with her insecurities and how she feels. Right. So a lot of times what men do is they act like those things are not relevant right. or, or it's not happening. Y'all, y'all probably have not grown to a place yet. To where that conversation can actually be talked, be had, and yeah. then be, and then just continue on. Yeah. You know, and, and life, and it, it's it's levels. It's always levels in relationships. You know what I'm saying? But the but the key foundation of it is is really to like don't it's like don't don't uh, the key foundation is that you can't that you cannot let it linger. Yeah. 
you know, you gotta when you gotta have a conversation, you got like you gotta have your your non negotiable. Mm-hmm. Our non negotiable was like, nah, it ain't, it ain't no divorce, like you know. Yeah. It's like it ain't no we divorce. We had a couple of non. It ain't no cheating. Yeah. You know, it's like it's it's like no, like we were like, like let's whatever, be like, transparent gotta, with each other. Like whatever the issue is, we gonna, let's it's, talk it's about getting it. Worked like, out. Yeah, yeah. It's like you mad or or well, we can't like I don't do mad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like mad don't work for me. Yeah. Cause it's like I be I be like, dog, we got too much life to live. Like every second of life is 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 it matters. Every second of life gotta be accounted for. And for me, every second of life I wanna have I want to have some level of peace. You know what I'm saying? So it's like and then like, you know, for I I don't know how all men feel, but I know for me as a man, like I'm I don't like to sacrifice like a moment of my peace. And only the people that I really got love for can disrupt my peace. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So I definitely think that even for me, you know, um, coming from a coming from a mom, <laughs> y'all, my mom was like, my mom is. She's cool. She's calmed down a little bit, but she was like a tither, you know. And I think coming like a fraction, she calmed down. I, well, she has calmed down a little bit. <laughs> but now that's the one thing that. I think that I did inherit from my mom. It's like that, that, that yeah. like a lion, you know. Um, but then I had to realize that. Uh, what does that feel like, though? It feels bad, to be honest with you. When you, it's like it's like your default setting is like aggressive. aggressive. Yeah, aggression. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna say this as a as a for me a, a an aggressive woman, um, especially when someone triggers you. Mm-hmm. That is not a good feeling for me. So I don't know how other aggressive women feel about that, but it's like when you grow and you start healing and you start to really like unpack like where that stuff really comes from, it's really like not a good feeling. And really and truly to me, I think that it's a default setting because uh, it's a lot of, it's, it's, it's environmental for one. And then I think it comes from a lot of suppressed emotions, a lot of emotions that maybe we weren't heard or that, you know, we had to deal with, you know. And so the way that we respond is out of anger, you know. So when you heal, you know, um, when you start healing and you just start, like I say, unpacking all of those things, it's like when you, when something triggers you and you do go there, it's like if feels you literally feel like you just went through an out-of-body experience Mm -hmm. you know and so i'm i'm happy that like even now but it's it's it's, this is the thing um coming out of being an aggressive woman it it is something that takes a lot of time you know because like for me i've been like this 30 30 something years you know and so now you know i'm really in a place where i'm like i don't even want to respond like that because you start to look at like I don't want to be that person, right. you know. Like I don't want to be that way. It it has been easy for me over the years. You 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 haven't made me have to respond in those ways, you know. Now my family has, you know. But you know, you you never. I'm not gonna say never because then I'll be lying. But I'm saying like you've made it easier for me not to respond in those mm-hmm. ways. Um, but like yeah, like the kids, you know. Um, you know. Well, I don't think I've ever been like that with my nephews. You know, but like my family, yeah, they're yeah. the people that can really, you know, hit those buttons for me. But I definitely, I wanted to go back to our topic, but I definitely, but I'm going to say this, it is a, it is a journey, yeah. you know, of getting through that, you know. Um, so, yeah, so it's a journey, but you get through it, you know, and you give yourself grace and then you figure out what those trigger points are. And then you, when, when you're, when you're in your healing process or in your healing journey in the beginning of it the best thing for you to do is make sure that you stay clear away from those things that can trigger you. And that's how you actually start to actually get over it is because you're not, you're not putting yourself in a situations that actually trigger you, right. you know, right. cause then you learn how to respond to it. Once you're actually like in the, in the deeper stages of it, you know, you're like, oh, you know, right. but it definitely takes time. But going back to what you were saying about the men versus the women and us as women feeling unsupported and mm-hmm. our needs are not met and then how society actually plays a huge role in that. And then I wanted to point back into what you said about companionship. I think that it's something that's super important. It's like we always say this about not ignoring um, like the character of a person. But, you know, also having the goal of like when you're when you're in your relationship or when you are building a partnership to actually like know what this partnership. So, you know, you just 
you you definitely want to make sure that you know you know the the, the that you know what you're going into the relationship for. Right, and and pretty much that's start with you know when y'all get together, y'all have to know like why y'all getting together. A lot of people get a lot of people get into relationships for the wrong reason, mm -hmm. and then that's get true. upset because it ain't pan out how they expected it. To. Yeah, that's true. You know, so to avoid to avoid the competition, know that you actually going into a relationship for companionship. Yeah, that y'all trying to build together. Right, and knowing that you know have a mutual understanding and 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 come together. You know, as y'all talk about your finances, as you talk about your goals, right? Mm -hmm. As you talk about the future that y'all are building together, know that it's for one common goal. And that way, it's not that I'm competing against you and who's making it to the finish line. It's like we're making it to the finish line together. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So there you it's, have it. Yeah. Ain't no competition over here. No com of course not. <laughs> <laughs> no competition, y'all. It's all, all love. it's all love and companionship. And yeah. it's like make sure that whatever you do, y'all, pray for your spouse, pray for your partner. You know, come together, love on each other, and really take time to really wherever you are in your marriage, wherever you are in your relationship, take time to really just seek to understand each other. Yeah. Know that you're better together. Yeah, that's good. So it's been real. Y'all already know how to reach us, how to find us at On Your Keys on Instagram. You did. Let's get it. Peace. The long way. Gotta leave treasure for my kids. Kids' pleasure. Every loss been a lesson and an unexpected blessing. Plenty seeds showing up. Small money growing up. Accomplishing my goals. Champagne bottle pouring up. Name on everything. I'm signing the dotted line. Money been working for me. I'm kicking back on recline. I own it just like the moment. Everything I became. My hustle could take the blame. To little find my name. Gotta walk through the rain. Gotta go through the pain. You gotta soak up the game. Create your own lane. Switch gears. Never change. Level up and gain. You can have everything long as you do one thing You just got on your keys You just got on your keys